New ideas for your lab. Breakthrough technologies for driving bold progress. This is another progress report on our world tour of innovation. Thermo scientific technology and innovation is all about making your life easier in the lab. And we're here in Santa Clara, California to focus on centrifugation innovations, specifically the world famous FiberLite rotor technology. Meet Al Piramoon. He's our Vice President of Technology in this area of the business. Al, thanks for letting us in today and we're taking it all in here in Santa Clara. Tell us about where we've been, where we are today, and where we're going with this fantastic technology. For many years and for many decades, we have been dealing with the traditional aluminum and titanium metallic uh, rotors in our industries. We are changing that. We are going for future to a non-waste way of making these products. The product has been, you get a forging material, either titanium or aluminum, and then the machine, about 80% of it, throw that away and use the 20% of it. And uh, also dealing with all kind of a safety issues. In a carbon fiber technology, we are changing that. Besides changing the material, what we are doing, we are on a green technology, we are on zero waste. We get the material and we mold it rather than machining. We make a net shaped part and we use every ounce of it in our product line. We are following and parallel with what the aerospace is doing. We are the same technology, a little bit more complicated in some area than aerospace technology. We go through many gravity higher than uh, aerospace uh, component, and this is our direction. Uh, basically, our mission is to make the laboratories all over the world safer and better and with much, much more throughput, and that's what we are here for. This is where uh, a number of steps are taken before the product is shipped. Tell us about what happens here. Our process is very unique. Our equipment is very unique to our process. We had to build our uh, equipment to enable uh, to make the product. Every step of the product is a technology related to that. Basically, uh, we start from raw material uh, in a sheet form, and we go ahead in a very extensive cutting and a molding, and then later on winding and a balancing, and then uh, to the final testing process. This is our process. There are five or six different steps is involved to get these products out the door. Let's transfer this to Sheila that she can talk more about a specification of the product and what we are going to do, where we are going to go in future. We're in the customer training center now, continuing our rotor discussion with Sheila Piramoon, our global product manager. Sheila, this is fantastic technology. Show us the old school technology to really provide a contrast to this new fiber light rotor technology. For the past 50 years, centrifuge rotors have been manufactured out of metals like this one. These rotors have a number of limitations because they're subject to corrosion and fatigue, but there was no option available in the past. We're using new materials. These materials have been pioneered by the aerospace and military industries and are surpassing the barriers of the past. This here is a carbon fiber rotor. These rotors are up to 60% less weight than the metal rotors of the past. That makes them easier to lift in and out of a centrifuge and also provides a safer work environment for users. These rotors are not subject to corrosion or fatigue, meaning that chemicals and moisture used in the laboratory and other salts will not attack the surface of this rotor. These rotors are also insulators, meaning that sample temperatures are kept constant throughout the duration of a run. Finally, carbon fiber rotors use molded technology, meaning that all of the cavities of the rotors are molded to the exact shape and dimension of the labware. This provides superior support. So for example, when running a conical tube like this, we're now able to take this tube beyond what it's rated up to 30,000 g-force. This is an example of how the cavity is molded to the exact shape of the tube, allowing the additional support needed to obtain those g-forces. You can see that the cavities are conical and that there's no drilling involved, meaning that now you only need one inexpensive disposable conical tube to do the work that used to need to be transferred into multiple tubes, and you can discard it when you're done. Want to see more? Check us out on thermoscientific.com. And thanks for watching another progress report on our world tour of innovation.